Hello? Hello? Who's that? How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some scary videos that are starting to spook the internet. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more freaky content. Just like this. Our first clip of the day shows something eerie happening at a church. Its origins are unknown, but this version was uploaded to TikTok by Scary Central. The OP claims they were walking by their local church late at night when they heard an unsettling noise. When they rounded the corner, they spotted this. The glass doors are banging violently and there's no clear reason why. It's late at night and the caretakers have long gone home, yet somehow the door keeps rattling. Some viewers suggested that the door might be automatic and that the sensor mechanism has malfunctioned, causing the door to pulse. While a lot of people would love to believe it's as simple as a faulty mechanism, the fact that it's happening at a church has led many to speculate that it could be some kind of evil spirit trying to get in the building. So, if you saw this happening in your local church late at night, would you stick around to film it, or would you scoot away as fast as you can? Let me know down below. Soy Ramses is a paranormal investigator based in Mexico. He travels the country in search of proof that the afterlife really does exist. In this episode, the OP was tipped off by a colleague who claims that a witch lives in an old, undisclosed graveyard in Mexico. Locals say it's not uncommon to hear screams coming from the cemetery late at night. There's also been mysterious lights and unidentified shadow figures spotted on the property. Fueled by these rumours, this YouTuber decides to camp the night in this infamous graveyard. He begins by tentatively exploring the old crumbling tombstones all alone. Hola. Buenas noches. While looking for a place to set up camp, he hears something nearby. Tipo casi. Ay, güey. Hola. Buenas noches. Before long, he spots something dark moving in the distance. A la madre, ¿qué es eso? A la madre, ¿qué es eso? A la madre, ay, que me quedo. He looks around the area, but there doesn't appear to be anything there. Hola? Amigo. Spurred on by this encounter, the OP decides to try making contact with any resident spirits by using a spirit box app on his phone. Soon enough, he hears the word lagate, which means go away in Spanish. Te estoy molestando aquí. ¿Necesitas algo? Later in the exploration, the YouTuber is spooked by something in the distance. ¿Qué es eso? It's difficult to tell what he sees, but it's clearly unsettling him. Then, just a few minutes later, this happens. No te tengo miedo. A la madre. No, 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 no. It's hard to see at first, but if we watch it again and slow it down, a figure pops out from behind a tree on the right. This freaks him out so much, he flees the area. He grabs his camping stuff and leaves the property altogether. <laughs> So what was the figure this OP managed to catch on camera? Was it a squatter following him around, or could it be the legendary witch that's said to haunt this very graveyard? 
Take another look at the footage and decide for yourself. A la madre! No, 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 no. A couple of weeks ago, we featured a story on the bizarre sightings turning up in an Amazon Prime travel series. When the show, James May, Our Man in Italy, aired, viewers quickly spotted these strange anomalies in the background of several shots. First, in this field. He was a composer who said, you may have the universe if I may have... Is Vandy, who's a composer, what who is said, that? you have the universe if I may have... Then another one was spotted in this shot as well. Home, because these woods are very much like the ones near where I live in South Wiltshire. It's got the same gradient, it's got the same sort of, because these woods are very much like the ones near where I live in South Wiltshire. It's got the same gradient, it's got the same sort of trees, actually. Well now, even more bizarre sightings have been spotted in the same show. This time it's in episode four, when May is inside of a parking garage in Florence. Take a look. Light best which was a little bit awkward, but I did choose one. A transparent figure of a man can be seen walking from left to right. A little bit awkward, but... Then in episode two, House of Pain, another figure can be seen in the background. It probably is worth remembering that this actually is a mass grave. When we first ran the story, the most prominent theory was that it was simply a glitch. Even May himself took to Twitter to say it's most likely a corrupted file. With so many figures spotted in the background, one has to wonder whether the production company that made the show is having a laugh, or accidentally released the show with loads of corrupted files. However, there are those who believe something might be following James May around. They've noted that it's highly unlikely that so many glitched files would make it to air in a high budget show such as this. They believe these are genuine sightings of a spirit that has attached itself to May. So where do you land on the sightings? Are they glitches or is it something a little more sinister? Let me know your theories in the comments down below. It's worth remembering that this actually is a mass grave. British YouTuber Mark B Television is normally known for their comedy sketches and Vox Pop style interviews. However, in this episode, they decide to do something a little bit different. After hearing rumours that a public park in Manchester, England is supposedly haunted, he decides to film there late at night, all alone. I'm going to have a wander around at midnight with the camera. Um... The YouTuber explains that he often jogs in the park, but had never heard the spooky stories that it may be haunted. I didn't even know this place was apparently haunted until recently, and I've been jogging here for a while. Right on midnight, the YouTuber begins his exploration of the property. Uh, the clock has just struck midnight, and I've turned the camera up as bright as it'll go. The park, known as Boggart Hole Cloth, is located in Blackley, Manchester. It's a sprawling woodland that dates back to the Bronze Age. For decades, there have been persistent rumours that the whole area is haunted by ancient spirits. The most infamous urban legend that clings to the property is that of the mischievous elf-like creature known as the Boggart. It's said to inhabit the crumbled ruins of an old farmhouse deep within the woods. As far back as the 18th century, there have been reports of children going missing while walking through Boggart Hole Cloth. As more and more kids went missing, townsfolk began to blame the Boggart, claiming that it was dragging them into the woods, never to be seen again. Spurred on by these eerie tales, our YouTuber continues to explore the park in near pitch black. When I finished jogging here late at night, I have seen, still seen uh, the odd person around, so. While the scenery is quite unsettling, nothing too strange seems to happen. Apart from that, absolutely nobody around whatsoever. That is until he explores a nearby bridge. Take a look at what he sees. And as I said, it leads to the 99 steps and to the higher bridge. And the thing about Boggart Holcroft Park is... Hello? 
Hello? Who's that? Who's that? A person appears out of the darkness. They're wearing a grey hood and mask, making it difficult to discern any features. Hello? They walk slowly without saying a word. Who's that? The OP turns and runs and the video abruptly ends. <sighs> if this was just another person exploring the park at night time, you'd think they'd make themselves known or avoid the man with the camera altogether. Instead, they approach with an eerie calmness. Who's that? So did this person have sinister intentions? Or could it be, as some viewers have pointed out, a modern version of the Boggart? Perhaps this is a malevolent entity looking to drag people into the darkness, never to be seen again. Whichever way you look at it, this encounter is certainly creepy. Who's that? Dark Ghost Paranormal is an infamous paranormal YouTube channel based in Russia. In this episode, they explore an abandoned school that was once used by the Germans in World War II. The dilapidated ruins of the old school show quite clearly that a fire has ripped through the buildings. Local eyewitnesses say that just prior to the fire, a silhouette of a woman was looking out of one of the windows. Moments later, the entire east wing of the school was aflame. No one could identify the woman and the exact cause of the fire remains unknown to this day. Dennis, the lead investigator, explores the property looking for clues as to what happened all those years ago. Shortly into the exploration, the OP sets up a spirit box to try and communicate with any spirits that might be present. Take a listen. To continue the investigation, Dennis sets up a series of cameras around the property. It isn't long before one of them catches something strange. Two doors in one of the burnt out hallways seem to open by themselves. A short while later, while Dennis explores one of the rooms, something truly eerie happens. <laughs> Watching that again, while the OP asks for any signs that a spirit might be present, several boxes and chairs slide into the middle of the room. Later, while conducting a spirit box session in the basement of the school, more eerie activity is captured. Lights turn off and what sounds like running footsteps can be heard all around. After the lights turn back on, his spirit box gives an ominous warning. He then asks what the presence might want. The spirit box's response proves too much for the YouTuber as he decides to quickly leave the property.
So what's going on at this old abandoned school? Could a dark presence really have been responsible for the fire all those years ago? According to this YouTuber's footage, there's definitely something strange happening at the school, but just what that is remains unknown. Before we take a look at some creepy footage that many say is evidence of a shadow person, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. This is a classic piece of footage that's been haunting the internet since 2013. It was first uploaded to YouTube by a channel called Maximum Disclosure. The footage was captured by a homeowner who had been experiencing some strange things inside of their home. Doors banging in the night and disembodied whispers were becoming an all too common occurrence. So the homeowner decided to set up a series of cameras around his house to try and capture some evidence of the strange goings on. This is what one of the cameras caught. It's the middle of the night and no one's around. A shadow appears to slowly creep across the room. The OP claims it's evidence of paranormal activity. Responses to the clip have been varied over the years, but a strong contingent of viewers believe this is evidence of a shadow person. Shadow people are a bizarre phenomenon reported by thousands of people all around the world. While all kinds of people have claimed to see shadowy people out the corners of their eyes, it's patients suffering from sleep disorders that witness them the most. The creepy thing is the reports are disparate and come from countries all around the globe, yet the witnesses describe almost the exact same thing. Insomniacs and those suffering from sleep paralysis describe a dark figure that stands in the corner of the room. Sometimes the figure's wearing a hat and just watches them while they lay in bed, paralyzed, unable to move. Recently, we asked our viewers through the YouTube community tab if anyone had experienced sleep paralysis. Here are a few of the more unsettling responses that we received. This first one's from 12 Hon. I get them every now and then. When it grabs a hold of me, the borderlines of my vision is enshrouded in dark purple. I have to gather enough momentum to start a rocking motion to break free while feeling an immense pressure throughout my body. It feels as if gravity has intensified. When I'm feeling brave enough, I don't resist my eyelids from opening as I'm usually greeted with some dark impression of my imagination. Our viewer Tish says, Yes, many times. The scariest one was last year. I live in an apartment that has sliding doors for closets. I was asleep on my back in bed with my head turned towards the closet. The closet slowly opened and I saw this black figure come out of it. It sat on my bed and I actually felt the side of my bed go down from the weight of this thing. I felt like my eyes were wide open and this figure's fingers started coming slowly towards my face. I told myself this thing isn't real, it isn't real and I wasn't afraid of the thing. So I ended up biting the figure's finger as hard as I could. That's when it disappeared and the closet shut and I woke up. I couldn't move my body at all, so that's why I decided to bite its finger. It seemed so real. Mel K had this experience. I stumbled over this post and I got chills reading the descriptions of people's experiences. The fact is, I've only ever told my husband the story of my sleep paralysis but I've had this happen to me just once. It was October of 1996, Long Island, New York. I was sleeping and believed I had awoken. It was light outside and I heard birds. However, I couldn't move my body nor my head, but my eyes could move. With them, I could see only the window of this ground floor room begin to open. A small man with grayish skin began to crawl in through the window, feet first. I could hear the window, heard the sounds of garments moving through the now open window and his clogs as he dropped down onto the hardwood floor. When he turned towards me, it was the first time I felt terror and I realized there was something very wrong. I realized at this point that I wasn't just having a nightmare. I wanted to run badly, but I couldn't move at all, not even a fingertip. I could see that the thing that crawled through my window had a long gray duster coat and a beat up bent old hat. 
with a brass buckled black hat band. He had long stringy black hair and even longer teeth. Its red eyes then locked onto my own. It grimaced when it noticed me and then began limping across the room towards me. I was literally fighting with every ounce of my being to move, but again I couldn't budge. As it began to climb my bed near my knees, I was able to finally close my eyes and scream. I woke up for real and bolted out of bed into the hallway, causing a lot of noise in the process. I knocked a picture off the wall that broke the frame. Funny, it turns out I never screamed out loud. It was only in my head. But my bedroom window was now wide open on this October morning in New York. The best way I can describe my assailant or spirit or whatever these creatures are is a leprechaun with fangs. Crazy and stupid sounding I know, but it's 100% true. Then Shannon Marie says, I've had it three times. The worst one, I was in my bedroom and I could see the street light coming through my windows and closet doors, etc. My cat was laying next to me, but I couldn't move. On the ceiling opened up a big black hole and I could see what appeared to be demons swirling around inside of it. Think Dementors on Harry Potter. I started praying and I believed in my head that what appeared in front of my face was the devil. He flung a flat piece of metal over my mouth and told me no confessing. I could feel the metal sealing my mouth shut. I was crying and I was trying to move. I could feel my arm pressing up against my cat and barely nudging him when it all kind of just sucked up into the ceiling and I gasped for air and sat up in bed. The sides of my hair and my pillow were soaked with tears and the cat booked it out of my room. They always seem so real and it's the most terrible, darkest fear I've ever had in my life. So how is it the people from all over the world seem to be experiencing the exact same thing? Some sleep experts believe it could be nothing more than hallucinations brought on by a flight or fight situation. When a sudden elevation in heart rate occurs while sleeping, it's possible the body begins to hallucinate to try and wake up. So is it all just a hallucination or is there more to it? I'm sure if you ask our viewers who have experienced it, it was all too real for them. Now, if you can't get enough of the old slapped ham, then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that creepy video on the top there. Otherwise, we have an enormous paranormal playlist there that'll keep you entertained well into the evening, we promise. Now, remember to leave us a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. And that's it from me. I'll see you all next time. <gasps>